After the heat, humidity and thunderstorms of yesterday, it is not as hot today. And we have a band of rain moving in from the west. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Dip to toe. And, and then to toe. every time we came back 100 <laughs> yards away from the water, you I got other go people in. to swim for me, yes. <laughs> but did you actually go in before? So, do you know, everybody came up to me on the beach and said, you need to go in, it's amazing. So, Prove it. I had my cosy and I took the plunge and I went into the sea. And I just would <laughs> like to point out, I actually have got a swimming costume. I was going to say, yeah, you are wearing something, aren't you? <laughs> Earlier in the morning, there were some people skinny dipping and I said to the cameraman, pan over there, and I was like, not now, not now. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it actually was... It was freezing at first, not yeah. technically it felt it, but after Invigorating. very refreshing. What is it, about 18 degrees? Yeah. Though. But it gets warmer in September. the warmest, so it takes all the summer to warm up. Yeah. So, yeah, September is the warmest point. Cool. So, you know, if you want to cool off from this hot weather, I would definitely recommend heading into the sea uh, just for a short amount of time. But yesterday we had the heat and the humidity. Last night we had the Aurora Borealis and the Perseid Meteor Shower. So Tim Peake posted this. So yesterday at the seaside, for me, it was a hot and humid as it was for many across England and Wales. And we got to 34.8 degrees Celsius. And that made it the hottest day of the year so far. It is worth pointing out that that dizzy height is something that's becoming increasingly common. In the 70s, we had that just well, one summer. We had it for no summers in the 80s. But now for the last two decades, we have seen that happen three summers at the total and there is a hard chance of that climbing as we had through the rest of the 20s so this warming trend is continuing weather wise for today weather fronts queue up from the west bringing rain pushing away the heat and humidity and bringing fresher more comfortable conditions but also bringing rain welcome news if you didn't like the heat and humidity here's how it looks at the moment a band of cloud and rain in the west moves its way eastwards so central and eastern areas of england stay fine dry sunny and warm not as hot as yesterday highs of 28 degrees cloudy wet and windy from the west with fresher conditions in northern ireland sunny spells and scattered showers here Good morning to you. Yesterday was hot and humid in the south. We reached 34.8 degrees Celsius as our high in Cambridge. Largely temperatures above 33 degrees in the south, further north. It was torrential thunderstorms that brought some localised flooding. Now, this heat is pretty unusual and it's becoming increasingly common in the 70s. It happened just in one summer, the 80s, it's no summers at all. And in recent summers, it's happening much more often. But as we head through the next few days, things will turn cooler and fresher. Here's why. A weather front moves in from the west today and that's a cold front and it pushes away the hot air and it brings with it some rain and then the weather fronts are queuing up in the Atlantic to bring more wet weather later on this week. So here's how it looks for today. We have cloudy skies, outbreaks of rain in the west but still very warm across eastern areas but not as hot as it was yesterday. So first thing this morning, this is the latest satellite and radar image. Cloudy skies across western areas, clearer skies in the east, but a fresher start compared to yesterday morning. Much of England, fine, dry, plenty of sunshine for central and eastern areas, but it's in the west we see cloud and rain moving in. So for western England, Wales, across Scotland, a weather front moves in. Behind it, the fresher air. It's a cold front, so sunny spells and scattered showers. So looking at 20 in the west, but 28 degrees in the east. So how do things pan out as we head through the next seven days then? Let's take a look at our outlook. So we look at Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern areas of England. First of all, our trend in temperature. The line in the middle is average, where it should be for the time of year. And we sit around about maybe a little above average, so warm as we head through the next week. Percentage chance of rainfall across the north of the UK. Well, today that weather front moves in. Tomorrow looks drier. It looks like the wettest day of the week will be Thursday before it turns drier into the weekend. And that looks like it lasts into next week. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Temperature-wise, we're sitting around about average as we head through next week. It's way above at the moment, but it slowly falls at around about average as we head through the next few days. And actually, yes, we have the rain band in the west today. Tomorrow doesn't look too bad. Rain on Thursday, but drier for the end of the week and into the weekend.